MrYorkieLoverFitness.com. How you guys doing today? This is Jason from Mr. Yorkie Lover Fitness. And let's talk about tattoos and specifically like tattoos and bodybuilding and tattoos on athletes. First of all, I'm gonna say I came across an article in a website called healthline.com and the question they ask is do tattoos affect sweat, inhibit exercise? So uh, like one thing I noticed at these bodybuilding show, shows more and more uh, bodybuilders, men and women, are getting tattoos. And I'm, I'm going to say right off the bat that I'm not a big fan of tattoos if you're competing because when you're sitting in an audience far away and you're seeing someone up on, someone up on stage competing, uh, first of all, the tattoos take away from your body because they look like ink, ink splat and you can't make out the, the muscle definition. And a lot, a lot of these tattoos some of these people pick are just ugly. I mean, a lot of people have poor choice in, the, in their tattoo picks. But... I personally don't think they look good. Like they, I, they do look good if you're like a rocker, and this is all my opinion. Or if you, someone like Rich Piana, he, they look good on him, all tattooed, all up. But, but see, the thing was, he wasn't on the stage competing, and when he was on the stage competing, he didn't. He only had a couple tattoos, as you can see from earlier pics. So I just think they look like crap. I think they take away from the body, the beauty of the body when it's up there posing. So, but now, but now they're talking. Does this actually? affect you by having tattoos is it, it going to affect the way you sweat so they did this small study and uh on athletes just to see you know if it had a if tattoos had an impact or they didn't have an impact and obviously this study was small because it's saying right now that they had they recruited 10 young men with tattoos on one side of their upper body but not on the other um so the researchers then use chemical patches containing a substance that induces sweating to stimulate the sweating process on both the tattooed and non-tattooed skin. So this is the first study of its kind to look at tattoos and sweating function. And uh, so what they came out with is, uh, and the reason that they, they want to study this, because the, the one doctor says, I realized that the sweat glands were at the same approximate depth as the deposition of ink for a tattoo. So it, it got this person wondering if the tattoo process interferes with sweat function. They simulated the sweat on these athletes, and keep in mind their bodies, or these people, their bodies, half their body, one side of their body was tattooed, the other wasn't. So they took these 10 subjects, they, they simu simulated sweat on both sides of their body to see if one side would sweat more or less. And as, as you already know, Sweating is the primary mechanism that the body uses to cool itself, you know, particularly in high temperatures. This, this study could be of interest to athletes with tattoos who train in the sun and also with uh, people like firefighters and soldiers, you know, because as, as a, a former member of the military myself, that's, it seems that's where tattoos were originating from is you went into the military, you got a tattoo. I didn't get one, but most people that go in the military do get and have tattoos and, and obviously now a lot of people have tattoos they were they were looking at you know what impact it had for people uh, with 10 percent of their body they can no longer achieve their their same maximum sweat so they didn't sweat as much but so and obviously more tattoos equals more effects so the more tattoos you had covering your body those those areas that were covered would sweat not as much but as you get down to the bottom of this article, they're saying it, it doesn't really change it too much, it, even though it does have an impact on your sweat and sweating process by having tattoos, it's not that big of an impact and it's, it's only minor compared to how much your body sweats without the tattoos. So for, for this is just one study, I thought it was kind of, kind of interesting. And, and I always wondered myself too, I was like, what, was there any you know, damage from tattoos. And I remember seeing another study where it said that the tattoos, you know, were over the areas of your body, your muscles were weakened. But I don't think that's the case. I mean, I, I saw that study probably like 15 years ago, but this is the next study I ever, I've ever seen on tattoos and the skin and with the sweat. So like I said, so the final conclusion was from this small first test they did is that tattoos can impede you from sweating a minor amount, but not enough to cause concern. Let me know what you think about tattoos on bodybuilders in general, especially if they're competing. Are you for them, against them, and am, am I just 
off my rocker thinking they look terrible. But uh, let me know. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.